Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. If you're an oldie moldy, welcome back. I'm going to do a birthday haul. I have a new addition to my doll family. I do not collect our generation dolls, but my sister saw this doll at Target and apparently she said I needed to have a little boy in my collection because I have nephews. So he is Franco. From our generation, I think he looks amazing. He's got some stuff in his hair because my nephews were playing with him. And he met all of his sisters. I have five American Girl dolls, and this is their brother from another mother. <laughs> That's funny. So, I thought it was really cute. This was not what he was wearing originally. He had these shoes on, and I put him in some knockoff Converse and a Stranger Things t-shirt. But he was originally wearing this little um, doodad. And it's an actual buttoned up shirt. But I thought he looked better like this. So, yeah. He looks like a little Mexican boy. He looks like one of my nephews. He's so cute. My sister was like, he needed this. And I had no idea what this was, who it was. I saw the box and I'm like, what could that possibly be? What could that possibly be? Like, what could she have gotten there? I did not think that she would get me a little boy doll. So yes, I bought clothes for him. He's going to be sitting on my bed. I honestly think he looks like a boy. I don't like the American Girl boys that they have. I think that they're, well, they're, they're very white. <laughs> I'm like, this is a Mexican. And uh, he's going to sit there and look fantastic. And I'm going to dress him. And he's going to have a full wardrobe. And I love him. So my room is a mess. I have doll stuff everywhere, but I decided to come on and show you my birthday loot. I am wearing a peanut butter and jelly dress. You can't really see it, but it looks like this. And I have peanut butter and jelly earrings. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll insert a clip of what I'm actually wearing and what I look like today. Because the dress is adorable. I mean, it's absolutely adorable. I love it so much. And I just paired it with this little sweater. If you want to see any of the pictures of my birthday celebration, you can go to Think Pink Days, which is my family account. I have to, you know, accept you because um, it is a private account. And then I do have Cute Days, and that's my doll account. So I'm just going to show you odds and ends because there's a lot of stuff. And I got stuff from Bath and Body Works. I went there myself, so I bought myself a gift. And these are Franco's glasses. My mom just kind of had these on one of the cards that she gave me. These are clips for one of my dolls. I've got so many new dolls. I did get the Rainbow High uh, Fire and Ice Twins, Laurel and Holly. So they're sitting right there. I don't feel like getting up and moving them. I'll show you my doll shop. Like, after this little haul. I'll show you all of my dolls because I have a bunch of new dolls. So got them and I kept the artwork. I got a $25 Starbucks gift card. My main gift was Josefina. So Josefina was my real gift and I got her earlier this month. My parents always give me my birthday gifts early. I got a card from my mom and dad. It's really pretty. They Everything was pink. It's so funny that they did not get me a pink card, but my whole birthday was pink. And then my nephews made me a card, and they signed it. I love these. So these are Happy Birthday Auntie, and there's an O. I think I know who did this, but anyway. I think Magnus forgot to sign it. And then Talon drew all over his. So... Oh, I love these. I love these so much. And, oh, there's uh, there's stuff everywhere, guys. There, oh, doll stuff everywhere. This is a Fail Fix doll. Um, This is the brush. I have doll stuff everywhere. So in the mail, I got these glasses for 18-inch dolls. These are just something fun that I got. I'm excited for these. They are ombre, turquoise, and then just pink. So I haven't tried these on yet. I also got a Los Angeles. I'm missing something. Oh, here they are. Oh, I got a little attached to my sister's card, or one of the cards, was a Monet 
hair thingamajigger. It's a Monet Heavenly Hydrating Mask. Me and my sister are both spo have sponsors. I have a different sponsor. My sponsor is the Bees Knees. I absolutely love Monet. Uh, I got a 18-inch doll dress. I'll probably be showing pictures of these on Instagram. Let's see what this looks like. This is from Etsy. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. This is adorable. Okay, so this is really nicely made. So Santa Monica, Los Angeles dress, because I do live in California, Los Angeles. So I thought that was really cool. I had like the best birthday ever. My nephews are spending the night. Um, my sister had to go back to the house and do a few things. So the boys are spending the night with us. Sunny Garden Threads, handmade doll clothes, doll bedding, and more. Visit us online at sunnygardenthreadsetsy.com. So there is that. I absolutely love that. And then, I don't know who this is by. It says My Girl Clothing Company. These are watermelon shoes. And these are so, so cute. So, so cute. I love these. I can open them. I haven't done a video in so long. I'm failing at life. I should have opened these before I came on here. I caught it. But I have not been on because I've been so, so busy. So busy. And I have to clean up my desk area. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. These are very delicate. These are very delicate. So these aren't like... I always say this, when you buy clothes on Etsy, you don't know the quality. And I'm not saying that the quality is bad. It's just that if you have a little girl, I wouldn't buy her clothes off of Etsy because they're, not that they're not made that well, they're just, they're delicate. And these, you know, a little girl would destroy these in two seconds. You know, these are more for like the adult American girl collector who likes to dress up their dolls and kind of leave them laying on their bed or on a shelf. So these are delicate, but they're so cute, and I love them so much. These are awesome. I did get two new coloring books. This is The Magic Garden by Deborah Muller. I love her. I, I have, I'm all stuttering. I almost have all of her books, and I absolutely think that they are amazing. I just think they're so cool. I'm trying to find, oh, look at this. They're so amazing. She does the best coloring books. I usually like to use markers and gel pens on all of my colors. Look at this, it's so cute. So this is just like a whimsical magic garden coloring book and it's really nice. I think this was just newly out. Is there anything underneath there? Oh, I have another coloring book. It is Deborah Mahler. I found this at Target. Adorable Otters, so just a bunch of stuff that I've been getting for my birthday all month long. I haven't had time to film. This was just laying on my desk, but this is something that I picked up recently. But this is, I've been getting stuff for my birthday all month. So this is Mermaid Whimsy. Sorry for the glare. But I have been getting stuff all month for my birthday. That's just how my family is kind of celebrate the whole month. We had a really good lunch. Went to an Italian deli and we had grinders and, hold on real quick. Never a dull moment, I'm never alone. Uh, kids are here, my mom was asking me about some of the kids' clothes, if she thought maybe she shrunk them too much, but I said they're fine. So we had Italian grinders, potato salad. It was like a beautiful summer lunch. Oh my God, it was so good. Like the perfect summer lunch, because you know in summer, it's been like 102. You don't want anything really hot. So we had sandwiches. We had sandwiches on pink plates. My mom got pink cutlery. She got pink plates. She got a beautiful pink cake. Um, I had my crown. My crown is behind me. It's over there somewhere. But they got me a little princess for the day crown. And that was just wonderful. And... My nephews just spoiled me rotten. I love spending the day with my nephews is awesome. On my birthday, it's, it's just so special. So I'm going to pull all of these out. And I went crazy on the body sprays. 
but I'll tell you why. Because they don't always come out with really nicely scented body sprays. And the thing that I like about Bath & Body Works body sprays is that they don't last long. And you're like, what? Don't you want something that's going to last a long time? No, not really. Um, so this is the bag. Semi-annual sale for everything that I got. I spent like $48. I didn't use any coupons because I don't shop at Bath & Body Works where I get coupons. And it was the semi-annual sale, so this was the best deal that I could get because I don't shop there that often. I hate their lotions. Their lotions are craptastic. They're not moisturizing. They're very drying. I just don't like them. And oftentimes, their shower gels, their lotions, and their sprays, even if it's the same scent, they all have a variance when it comes to the scent. So, and I'll explain more about that when I show you these. But I do like their body washes, and I mix them with my Lush body washes, because most of the scents I like are the same. So, I just find that Lush is more moisturizing, but... Bath & Body Works has more fun scents, so I don't really feel like these dry me out too badly because after I get out of the shower, I use a very moisturizing lotion, which is a vino lotion. I cannot stand using scented lotion. I don't want to smell like a walking candy store, you know. I don't want to smell like somebody doused in perfume all the time. There are some perfumes that I have. The juice box perfumes that I have, those are real perfumes. And those have a heavier lasting smell because they actually are concentrated perfume. And I'll show you what I'm talking about right now. So this is a concentrated sm uh, scent, smell, scent, whatever. It's concentrated. It's a real perfume. It is the juice, pure sugar, and it's an actual real perfume. It's a heavier scent. It's a scent that, you know, if I want to have something last all day, I'll wear this. Like... I would say this is like a Christmas perfume, a Thanksgiving perfume, you know, not a real everyday scent because it's, it's a heavy scent. And oftentimes I have allergies and I have asthma, so I can't always wear a heavier scented perfume. During different seasons, I can't always wear something that's real heavy. I have to be a little bit more careful. This American Cream Lush, believe it or not, it's oil-based and it's very light and it lasts all day. Hand blended with fine essential oils. So this lasts all day, but I don't like spraying this on my clothes because if I spray, if I spray this on my clothes, I wash my clothes, I could still smell this on my clothes because it's a heavier, denser fragrance. If I spray this on my clothes, I could still I have to do a heavier wash cycle because it kind of the scent kind of stains my clothes. So I don't like using these ones to you know, every day, because it's just not practical for me. So these ones, this is the one that I got. I got strawberry soda. This doesn't last all day. I could spray this on my clothes, and it's not going to stain my clothes with this scent. Like, I will be able to wash my clothes in the washer, take them out, and I'm not going to be smelling the old perfume that I had on a day ago. You know what I mean? Because heavier perfumes, I notice, last longer on clothes. It just doesn't wash out as well. So, the strawberry soda smells so good. It smells just like a strawberry Fanta. It smells like strawberry Fanta. It's delicious. And I, I have the strawberry pound cake, and it's almost similar, but not. So, oh, I just love this. I love the strawberry pound cake. And I have that already, and I have the shower gel. I like the shower gels. You know, follow it up with a nice moisturizing lotion, and you won't feel dry and, you know dry and flaky water so yeah these might not be as moisturizing as, as Lush but Lush is more expensive and Lush is um, doesn't always have the fun sense and I do think that these are more moisturizing than something that you can find at Walmart like for some reason Dove leaves me feeling greasy like I don't like the way Dove feels on my skin. I don't like the way um, any of the real, I don't like any of the shower gels at like CVS, Walmart. I don't like them. I like theirs because I feel like these are a little bit more moisturizing. I feel like they have a better um, scent, like the longevity of their shower gels, the scent is stronger and lasts longer. And I feel like the ones from 
like CVS or Walmart just dry me out really, really fast. A lot of people say that these will dry you out. These don't dry you out as much as the ones that are at the drugstore, and these are just about the same price. These were probably like, I think one of them was six and one of them was seven. Not the cheapest that I could have got, but I really like the scents. So I got strawberry soda and I got boardwalk taffy, and this is supposed to be um, cotton candy scented, and it does smell like cotton candy. I just feel like these are way more moisturizing than bar soap, and I feel like they're way more moisturizing than even say a Dove or a Caress body wash. Like, yeah, Caress and Dove are kind of moisturizing, but to me personally, I feel like they leave a film, like a thick film on my skin, and I don't like it. That's not a softening type of feel. It's more like a, you could feel the soap on you after you rinse off. And these just wash off and you feel clean after. And, you know, they're not as moisturizing as Lush, but I think they have better scents. They're a little cheaper, and um, I like them. So, and if you feel like these dry you out, just put some Aveeno on and you'll be good to go. So, I still use their shower gels. I do not use their lotions. Their lotions, I think, are absolutely craptastic. But this, ah, smells so good. It smells like strawberry Fanta. Oh my god, I'm a foodie, and I love this. So I just got the shower gel and the spray. That's it. That's all I got. And then I got Boardwalk Taffy, and I really stood there, and I smelled it, and I smelled it, and I was like, okay, let me double check and recheck to make sure that I like this. Oh my god, that smells so good. Oh my god. That smells so, so good. You know the other one that I like a lot? that I have behind me is the raspberry donut or is it the raspberry jam? I don't know, it smells so good, but this. This smells more like cotton candy than this. This is a little bit different. This smells a little bit more. This smells sweeter, like candy. And this one smells more like, mm, that smells like fresh cotton candy. I love it. and. Cotton Candy Skies is Boardwalk Taffy. So I chose this packaging over the Cotton Candy Skies. I like this packaging more. I thought it was prettier. And the notes are sponge sugar, pink berries, and whipped vanilla. Whoo, smells so good. And then this one is fresh strawberries, bubbly seltzer, and crushed ice. I swear I smell the seltzer in here. I swear. I swear I do. Anyway, I really like this. So love it and then I got the berry waffle cone I asked them if they had this she actually went in the back and found it for me so so happy that she did that because this smells oh, it smells like happiness it smells like strawberry ice cream with a hint of a waffle cone oh it's so good it's so good this is sweet summer berries golden waffle cone and creamy vanilla I just think this is awesome I love it so three cents. Love it so much. Didn't have any coupons or deals because I don't really shop there that often, but like I said, these don't last that long, and I know a lot of people complain about that, but I like it a lot because I could just spray it on after the shower, and it's not going to give me a raging headache. It's not going to give me, you know, my asthma. It's not going to make my nose fall off, you know, because I do have an allergy, but I can wear their scents because they are a little lighter, and they don't last as long. And that's why I like them. Mm. I'm sorry, guys. I had to drink. So that is all I got for my birthday. Lots of odds and ends. Lots of miscellaneous randomness. Um, I guess I could show you my dolls. They're right here. Take this off the stand and kind of just pan around and show you all of the dolls that I've been getting. I think for the most part you've seen them all, but there are a few new ones. There's some Glitzy, there's some Fail Fix, and one of the Fail Fix dolls I actually didn't fix up the way that she was supposed to be fixed up. She was supposed to have blue and pink hair and like this fancy braid, and I just thought she looked really good the way she was, so I didn't fix her up. I just left her as is and put kind of a cute little ponytail on her, and yeah. 
So, um, oh, and I have an OMG. I have so many dolls to show you guys. I just, it's not going to be possible. So maybe I'll just pan over and show you them right now. Okay, so those are my OMG, well, Rainbow High twins, Holly and Laurel. And then there's her. And then there's more Cave Club down there. I don't know, I'll have to move down there. Hold on. So those are the Fail Fix dolls right there. Cave Club, Fail Fix. One day I'll show you those up close because the Fail Fix are really awesome. And then um, I moved Courtney's stuff because I had to fit the two OMG. Why am I saying OMG? I had to fit the Rainbow High Twins, so I had to move everything. So as you can see, I still have room. I have one doll underneath my bed to open up, and I still have a little bit of room. And I love those glitzy dolls. They're budget dolls, but they are stunning. I have two of the Cozy Comfort dolls from Wreck-It Ralph. And I just really love those because they're from Wreck-It Ralph, and Wreck-It Ralph is one of my favorite movies. So, yeah, as you can see, Courtney's stuff got moved over there, and my collection has just grown and grown and grown. And then you're looking at this mess. <laughs> I don't care. It's horrible. But, yeah, I wanted to show you behind the scenes of what goes on when I film, and this mess needs to be cleaned up, like, really bad. And maybe I'll even show you what I'm wearing. So this is kind of my birthday outfit. I have these, well, the socks are just kind of falling, but they are little socks that have bows on them. They have bows. You can't see them, but they're bows. And then I have them with my black vans. But yeah, peanut butter jelly. And I just look like that. So yeah, my birthday was awesome. And is there anything on here? Oh, and there's my crown. There's my crown. And what else is there? I think that's it. Yeah, but everything is a mess in here. It's my overnight bags. Everything's just a mess. The life of a doll collector is always messy and in turbulence. And I can get this cleaned up, but I think actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off my earrings. I'm going to change out of my dress and just relax for a little bit before I actually tackle this. It's not a lot. I just had to put some of the clothes in the closet. Are you guys tilted? I think you're tilted. Oh, I think I tilted you. It's not a lot. I just have to put away some of the doll clothes, um, stack some of my coloring books on my bookshelf, and throw away some trash. It's not that big a deal. But I'm tired. Everything looks way more... Like, what's the word? How come I can't think? Everything looks more out of control and awful when you're tired. So, like, I'm really, really tired right now. I have been working 24-7, and then today we have the boys. The boys are actually on my iPad right now. I hate it when they use my iPad, though, because I really don't want them to eat on my iPad or have sticky hands on my iPad. They're getting brand new iPads because they're going to need them for school, and they're actually learning a lot on them. They're actually learning quite a bit on them. I swear to God, the iPad is teaching them how to read. And they learned how to count better because they're motivated to learn how to count so that they could do certain things in the in the games that they're playing. So it's, it's a thing. So once they get their new iPads, they will not be having to use mine. And yeah. So... Life is good, knocking on wood, loving life, life is good, busy, hectic, kid life. Um, I play in my room whenever I can, I organize my room whenever I can, but mostly I just um, have been working and I did actually make it a priority and reorganize my entire doll shelf last night and I was exhausted. But I love you guys so, so much. So. Nothing new is going on. I'm just too busy to film. Um, I don't have the time. I'm with the kids pretty much 24-7, seven days a week. And that's about it. I just, I watch the kids. I come home on the weekends. And usually the kids are here on the weekends. And I play with my dolls. I color if I can. Right now I'm going to go check on the boys, make sure that they don't need anything. 
um, see if they need me to fix them dinner. Uh, you're probably wondering, like, why are the kids here this weekend and where is my sister? Well, my sister had some things that she needed to do, so the boys are here on Saturday, and I'm going to see if they need me to fix them anything to eat. Probably. I'll probably have to fix them dinner. Or maybe my mom will. Grandma's pretty good at fixing them dinner, which is so nice. I appreciate my mom so much. And I'm so thankful for her because she will actually make them dinner and I can actually sit here and film a video for you. I don't know if she's making them dinner right now. I don't think so. So I have to go do it. But a lot of the times she will pick up the slack and if I'm lazy and tired, she'll pick up the slack and it's awesome. So my parents do a lot and they help a lot. They are the best grandparents that you could ever ask for. So with that being said, I love you guys. Teresa's Peace and Beyond. Have a happy day, night, year, week. I am very active on Instagram, so you could find me, Cute Days, C-U-T-E-D-A-Z-E. -E. And Think Pink Days is a private account, but, you know, if you request me, if you want to follow me, I'll check you out, see if you're a real human being and not, you know, some sketched out person, you know. So I don't want anybody to. I don't want anybody following me on my Think Pink Days account that I feel is sketchy because it's my family account and I post my nephews on there. So I have a very small following on there of people who I've known for years and years. I did get my nails done today. Oh, I better let you go. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.